Hey, Bob WP here, and welcome to WordPress Event Talk, a Do The Woo podcast show. Well, we're back on track. I traveled to where Camtasia and Cloud Vest are over with, although I did get some of that famous conference crud, slowly but surely getting over that. We also launched our new site, and I'm working on some tweaks before we do the official launch of 4.0. In the meantime, catching up on some backlog episodes, starting with a few people at WordCamp Asia sharing their highlight of WordCamp, which is better late than ever. We start out with a short chat with our sponsor, OmniSend, with some thoughts on sponsoring a WordCamp. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Do The Woo. I'm Robert Jacoby, and we're broadcasting from WordCamp Asia 2024. I'm happy to have uh, as a guest, Rita Slauris from OmniSend. Uh, Rita, tell us a little bit about you and why OmniSend is here. Yeah, so OmniSend is a marketing automation which does like email, SMS, and web push notifications for anyone who primarily sells online. So we started with a traditional retail, selling physical goods. So for already some time, we help those who are on WooCommerce to generate more sales and to communicate with their existing customers. But we just launched our WordPress plugin. So basically, any WordPress website can use OmniSend. And of course, those who do sell anything like LMS, charity donations, some subscription payments can now benefit from all this end. It's email marketing, email retargeting. Yeah, correct. You can send both uh, bulk emails, whatever, like market marketer or business owner things are, and as well as like automation. Automations, of course, we encourage everyone to use. So basically, you set up all the triggers. If someone has visited your website, but did not complete the purchase or did not fill in the form, for example. So, Cart abandonment, yeah, huge so, issue always. Yeah, probably like is, is the most uh, famous, but let's say in office and uh, part of cart abandonment, we have browse abandonment as well. So even those people who did not add anything to the cart, but they visited specific products or even specific block posts and specific pages of the topics, you can easily retarget those people via email, SMS, or push notification with OmniSend. It's, it's, it's brilliant. And you've obviously had a very focused product on WooCommerce for a while. How does that work with WordPress in general then? What's the difference between the, or I guess, the original WooCommerce focus now with WordPress? Probably a broad answer. So OmniSend is made for e-commerce. But just definition of e-commerce is really being broad. Yeah? So let's say with any learning management system, there, is, there are transactions, online transactions that are happening. So really OmniSend can be used because it's e-commerce already. Yeah? Charity donations, when there's another area. Okay, those are non-profit organizations, but we still have transactions. We have to communicate with their donors and to remind them that we can donate repeatedly and send post-purchase or post-donation emails, etc. So like application is now absolutely unlimited and and any other website can use like OmniSend to collect subscribers via our form. So just sell bulk campaigns, doesn't matter if you're a school, a small business, uh, having a website, etc. No, that's excellent. And you have attended WordCamps before. Uh, you're actually a sponsor for, I think, the first time at WordCamp yeah. Asia. Yeah, correct. This is a new experience for us being a sponsor. And we have sponsored like small meetups, but the yeah, WordCamp, big WordCamp is first for us. So really having a booth here. Uh, Very nice and large yeah. booth, actually. Thank uh, you. You, you, <laughs> Thank you. You guys really went top of the line for the sponsorships. Yeah. <laughs> Kudos to, to, the, to the colleagues. Yeah, I know. It's, uh, it's, of course, sponsoring is a new experience. But I really like so far. So uh, for any uh, businesses, it doesn't matter if you are service provider or maybe an agency, etc. I think it's really worth considering at least sponsoring and maybe starting with smaller booth, but being present at WordCamp. And if even if you are not sponsoring, so for the listeners, I would really encourage to visit at least one of those three major WordCamps. The flagships, yeah. Yeah, the flagships, either Asia or, or the States or Europe, uh, at least once per year, it's really worth being there because it's a great sense of community here. The community is amazing as usual. As we wrap this up, What's the best way to find out more about OmniSend and connect with you? Yeah, so OmniSend.com, which is the best uh, way to find us. And by the way, for uh, Woo users, we have a really great offer now. So 30% off. It's only Woo. The discount code this can be used and you can find it on our website as well. And personally, myself, so I love LinkedIn. Probably this is the most preferred my network. 
And of course, all good email. <laughs> of course, email. <laughs> Thank you so much, Reed. It's great to have you uh, at Work Camp Asia. And thanks for uh, joining us on yeah. Do the Woo. Thanks, Robert. Ciao. Hi, I'm Ray Mori, and I write the repository weekly email newsletter for WordPress for people who are hardcore into WordPress and want to know what's happening in the community. WordCamp Asia has been incredible. I've had so many just amazing conversations with people. It's crazy how you can run into people in the hallways and just have straight away these just in-depth conversations with people about everything. And everyone is being so willing to share their experiences and advice and I'm so excited to come to another word camp soon. This is Brian Rodstein from Unisio. It's U-N-I-S-E-O dot com, based in Canada, and I've came all the way across the world to WordCamp Asia. And I have to say, meeting people around here has been fantastic. If you know me, you know that I love to socialize with everybody, really get to know people, get to see what the products are, what the latest plugins are, really find out about everything that has to do with WordPress and the WordPress community. But the socialization aspect and seeing how things are run out here is just fantastic. WordCamp Asia has been a fantastic experience. I highly recommend it to anybody who wants to come to any major WordCamp or any small WordCamp, even locally. Really a, a great experience. Hi, my name is Sarah Camus. I'm a WordPress user here at the WordCamp in Asia this year. And I have to say my favorite thing about being here is just the feeling I get being around everybody who is just so involved in what they do. And it just sparks all this motivation and creativity for me that it just makes me want to jump in full force. I'm Ace. I'm from the Philippines and WP Fusion. And yeah, I love meeting new friends here in WordCamp Asia 2024. <laughs> it's been really great so far. Hi, I'm Anita Chen from Taiwan. It's my first time to attend WordCamp. And so what I love about this is that it's the first time I saw a camp that gathering a lot of developers and a lot of volunteers who engage in the event without asking for any payback. And we, I can see the enthusiasm there. And the, what we are here is that we try to attract more digital talent to Taiwan to show them how welcome that we want them to be here. I'm April. I'm from Florida. I work with WP Pop-Up Maker. And the highlight of this event has been the swag and networking. I'm Daniel Iser from Florida in the U.S. I run Code Atlantic, which is most popular for Pop-Up Maker. And my favorite part of this event was the freemius party. I met a ton of great other product authors and had a blast. I'm Chani and I'm from India. And I am here with Stella WP. It's an amazing brand and has eight brands under that. And I think what I enjoyed the most of being in WordCamp Asia is being at my stall because it's my first international WordCamp Asia and making these really cute buttons with the superpowers that anybody who came at the stall wanted to color. We had these little cards and it was from our Stella Wars, like we like to call it. And uh, yeah, I think that was really amazing meeting new people. Oh my God. I have work colleagues from all over the world and we are always meeting virtually, but it was such a great opportunity and time to meet all of them in person. So I'm pretty thrilled about it and really looking forward to the next one. So I'm Frederick Coleman and I'm from the US and I work for Blockonomics. I was here for WordCamp Asia last year as well and I think the great thing about WordCamp Asia is that it's a place where a lot of new people that you don't see at the WordCamps in Europe and US get to come together, new people interact with them and being able to see some new ideas and that's great. So hi, my name is Christina. I'm from Lithuania and I am from Hostinger and I was in WordCamp Asia this year and I loved about being together with my friends who are actually becoming my family. So just hugging all of them after seeing them was a great experience this year. Hey, I'm Hassan from Bangladesh. I came here to represent Rocket.net and I'm actually loving the environment here. The atmosphere is great and the people are awesome. The best moment for me was meeting our clients here who uses Rocket.net. They were loving the product and they were like, I love your product. And the t-shirt design, our t-shirt, like Google and the, user, the team of Google and Elementor, they loved our design. So it, is, it was great to showcase the product I love. It, I love briefing Rocket.net because it's, it's my product. I love this product. So yeah, it's going great. Uh, hi, I'm Horea from Kubio. I'm from Romania. 
and it's been great to show our latest product, Kubio AI, to uh, to people uh, here at Work Campasia. It's also great to explore this uh, uh, different culture and uh, this beautiful country. Yeah, it's uh, it's been a great work camp so far. Hi, my name is Jack, and I'm here from WP Fusion. And my highlight was reconnecting with friends that I get to see at each word camp and going to tasty restaurants with them. Hi, Bob. I am Jim Ross. I am from the Philippines, and I am the training lead in Level Up. Yeah, we provide support for WordPress plugin and teams. And the highlight for me for this word camp, WC Asia 2024. Of course, number one, the swags, and of course, the talks. Yeah, I really like the topics. And of course, later, the after party. I'm looking forward for the after party. Yeah, I enjoyed last year's after party, so I'm expecting that the after party later would be great as well. Hi, I'm Michelle Frechette. I am the Director of Community Engagement for Stellar WP and the Executive Director of Post Status. And I spoke this year at WordCamp Asia about inclusion and allyship. And the highlight of the entire event is all the people that I get to see when I travel to Asia and the love that I have for all the people here. I've had just a wonderful time and the warm welcome reception has been amazing. I'm Mike. I work with Automatic and I'm in the VIP division. It's actually my first WordCamp, um, not only my first WordCamp Asia, and probably my favourite part has been just connecting with the people and the community. Um, although I do work for Automatic, which sort of are the creators of WordPress or involved in the creation of WordPress, um, yeah, I'm not that plugged into the community, so it's been really nice to connect with everyone while I'm here. This is Zunad from Rocket.net, and I'm from Bangladesh. And the thing is, I am loving WordCamps right now. Uh, the thing is, I've been to WordCamp Nepal. It was amazing. And WordCamp Asia, it has lots of people from different parts of the world with amazing people, amazing sponsors. I'm loving the environment here. And it has been a pleasure to be here. Thank you. I'm Olga from St. Petersburg, Russia. I'm a full uh, stack WordPress developer, and this is like my main job. And I'm also contributing to WordPress uh, core and different other teams a lot. Right now, I'm co lead for a test. This release, I hope it will be well because it's coming nearer. And about this conference, I liked most, of course panel I was taking part in about women in tech and I think everyone should listen to it and not only listen but take actions and think how you can be part of this initiative and make uh, things to the better future not only for women but for everyone and this conference is awesome because we have people from all almost all over the world it's wonderful hey I'm part Pandya from Krisha web I'm from India and I'm here for the first time in WordCamp Asia. We are the VIP agency partner and uh, WordCamp Asia, the, I would like to thank all the organizers and the sponsors to organize an excellent WordCamp. The arrangements, the sponsors areas as well as the speaker sessions are really very good. I really enjoyed uh, meeting people, networking, especially I'm a big fan of Do The Woo. The Bob, the man, he's behind the success of ours. I'm following really well to him. Thank you so much. All the wishes to everyone. Thank you. I'm Erica from Canada. I work at Woo, and my favorite part of WordCamp Asia 2024 is connecting with the community and having the chance to get together in person again. Hello, I'm Pai, and I'm a developer advocate here at Woo. And my favorite part about WordCamp Asia has been connecting with developers and eating vegan food. Well, I hope you enjoyed that, and I'm going to be spending the remainder of this week getting over this crud and moving things into place. We have much more coming your way in April, including our 4.0 launch. So till then, enjoy your week. <laughs>